So the Exynos 2600 is back again, and this time it's showing even faster performance. Yep, Samsung's next big chip for the Galaxy S26 series just showed up on Geekbench, and it's looking way stronger than before. But here's the thing, even though it's faster now, it's still not quite beating the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 from Qualcomm. Let's talk about why that's such a big deal. So, Samsung's Exynos 2600 has been showing up on Geekbench a few times now, and every time it gets just a little better. This new test shows it scored 3,455 in single core and 11,621 in multi core. That's an improvement from before, when it had 3,309 and 11,256. So, yeah, it's getting stronger and better optimized. You can really tell Samsung is fine tuning this chip to be as powerful as possible. But here's where things get interesting. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is still slightly ahead in single core with 3,532 points, but actually lower in multi core with around 10,810. So, in real numbers, Exynos wins in multi core but loses in single core. That means it might handle heavy multitasking a bit better, while Snapdragon is still king in overall speed and responsiveness. Now, Samsung is pushing the Exynos 2600 really hard this year. The company's goal seems to be brute force, maximum raw power, and better battery management. They want this chip to be a powerhouse for gaming, emulation, and even desktop level tasks. And honestly, that's where things get exciting. We are now at a point where phones with the Exynos 2600 might be able to emulate PC-level games. You heard that right. Samsung's chip is so powerful that you could run high-end emulators like GameHub or even Eden, which is a Switch emulator. That's insane. Imagine playing full console games right on your phone without lag. Even the upcoming Xbox emulator for Android? It probably won't stand a chance against this chip. That's how wild this is getting. Samsung has clearly made huge progress with its in-house chips. Remember how people used to complain about Exynos being weaker and hotter than Snapdragon? Well, this time things are changing. The new Exynos 2600 seems to handle performance much better, and Samsung is working hard to balance power and thermals. That means less heat, better battery life, and more consistent performance over time. But here's the catch. Numbers are great, but real-world use matters more. Sure, Geekbench scores tell us how powerful a chip can be, but we need to see how it performs in real life. How does it handle gaming, multitasking, or heavy apps like video editing? How does it perform after 30 minutes of gaming when the phone gets warm? That's what really matters. Still, these scores tell us something important. Samsung is catching up. The Exynos 2600 might not completely beat the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in every category, but it's definitely closing the gap. And that's exciting because it means more competition, and more competition means better phones for all of us. If the Exynos 2600 can deliver the same gaming experience with less heat and longer battery life, then Samsung's decision to bring Exynos back to global models might actually be the right move this time. We could see the Galaxy S26 Ultra powered by this chip in many regions, and if it performs well, that could change a lot of opinions about Exynos phones. So yeah, the new Exynos 2600 is showing serious improvement, faster, more efficient, and built for heavy use. It's not perfect yet, but it's definitely looking like Samsung's strongest Exynos chip ever. And if it can keep this level of performance without overheating or draining the battery too fast, then we might finally see Exynos make a big comeback in 2025. Honestly, I'm just excited to see how it performs when real-world tests come out, especially gaming and emulation, because if it can truly run Switch and PC-level games smoothly, that's going to change everything for mobile gamers. So yeah, the Exynos 2600. It's not just a chip anymore, it's Samsung's big comeback story.